grade, lesson 45, and today we're learning about classifying quadrilaterals. Okay, do you know what a quadrilateral is? No. Write this big word down. Quadrilateral. Okay? Okay. Quadrilateral means four-sided figure. Okay? Mm -hmm. You know about probably, let's see, you probably know about three of them. You know about rectangles, yeah. you know about square or yeah, squares, and you know about have you ever heard of a parallelogram? Yeah, but I don't know what it is. Okay. Well today you're gonna learn a few new words that make up a quadrilateral. So a quadrilateral is basically what I'm putting around that. It's a four sided figure. Okay, quad means four. Yeah. Got it? Okay. So what is a quadrilateral? Four. Four what? Sides. Four-sided figure, okay? Four-angle figure, four-sided figure. Okay, now we're going to talk about three different categories. So from your quadrilateral, I want you to draw three. It's going to be like a tree uh, diagram. The first one we're going to talk about is something that's called parallelogram. Parallelograms. Okay. What do you remember about a parallelogram, Eli? Uh, I think the two L's. Yes. Mean okay. A parallelogram is two lines that are exactly the same distance apart. Okay. So I'm going to show you um, a few examples of a parallelogram. Okay. This would be. A parallelogram. Why? Because all four sides are parallel. These two are parallel and these two are parallel. Mm -hmm. Is this a parallelogram? No. Yes. It is? Even though it's a rectangle two, it's also a parallelogram. Why? Because it, these two are parallel and these two are parallel. You get it? Yeah. So a parallelogram is just two sides that are parallel and two sides that are parallel which makes up four parallel sides. Okay, so what's a parallelogram? Where all the sides are equal. Okay, now we're gonna talk about something else. So I'm gonna put, this is a picture of Tennessee, just so you know. Tennessee? <laughs> okay, the next one we're gonna learn about is something called trapezoids. Kind of a fun name, write that down. Trapezoids. Trap don't forget parallelogram over here. Yeah. Do I put a box around it? Not yet. I'm going to show you what kind of it looks like. You can put a point around parallelogram because that's what it kind of looks like. Oh. Okay. okay. Now it can be many different other things, but this is just an example of one. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Okay. A trapezoid. Guess what a trapezoid is? It's kind of like a parallelogram but only two of the sides are parallel. So for example, a lot of times you see this as an example of a trapezoid. These two are parallel. They're the same distance apart from each other, but these two are not. So only two of the sides are parallel. It's considered a trapezoid. Got it? So I want you to draw this on top of your trapezoid. Okay? Got it? And then the last one is called a trapezium. Trapezium. Kind of a weird name, but guess what it means? What? No parallel sides. So an example of this would look like this. You could just kind of like have weird lines. Okay? None of them are parallel. These two, this one's standing up, this one's sideways. Look right here. You know? Okay. These two are not parallel, and these two are not parallel. You see that? Uh huh. So, tell me what is a quadrilateral? Um, something where all the sides are the same. Sort of. What does quad mean? Four. Four. A four sided figure is what a quadrilateral is. What is a parallelogram? Parallelogram or. Um, they're exactly parallel. 
right? How many? Two. Just two lines are parallel? No. No. All four. All four. Very good. Two, they have a pair. So these two are, and then these two are, right? What is a trapezium? Trapezium is where only, oh, trapezoid, never mind. Trapezium. Oh, oh okay, this one. Trapezoid. Trape uh, how do you pronounce that? Trapezoid. Trapezoid. Trapezoids um, are where only two of them are. Only two of the lines are parallel. And what is a trapezium? Trapez trapezium is when uh, all of them are not alike. Not parallel. Not parallel. Okay. And make sure you only have four lines. Oh. And four angles. Okay. But you gotta make them all different, um, not parallel. Okay. You got it. All right. Look at this for a minute. Do you think you could draw another trapezoid for me? Um. Show me another example of a trapezoid. Um. Just remember the rule, and that's all you gotta remember. It could be. Okay. Backward. Yeah. That's good. Okay. Very good. He did these two parallel. And these two not okay we could have done these two parallel and made one side longer okay even though it's one's longer it just means the same distance apart from each other you see that uh you see how these yeah. are parallel these ones are not the same distance across because right here it's short and right here it's long okay and plus one's going this way and one's going this way you got it yeah Okay, so do you see how this is still a trapezoid? Yeah. Because two of these lines are parallel. Got it? Uh-huh. Okay, now let's draw, let's draw a few more trape trapeziums. Okay, I've got a little cheat sheet that I'm looking at. It helps me. Okay, still a four-sided figure, right? Yeah. Are any of them parallel? These two, no. one's this one and one's this way, and then these two, one's this way and one's kind of slanted more down. So no, good job, okay? So what is a trapezium? Um, where none of them are the same. Very good, and what is a trapezoid? When um, only two of them are the same. You're exactly right, okay? And what is a parallelogram? Parallelogram is when all the sides are the same. Or all parallel. Parallel, very good, okay. Now, what we're going to do next is I'm going to draw a few parallelograms that you're used to. And there's going to be three of them. So I'm going to draw from this parallelogram three lines. Okay. They actually have names. These ones are all trapezoids. They're all called trapezoids. These ones are all trapezium. They're all called trapezium. This one, we actually have special names for a few of them. One of them is a rectangle. Okay. What you know, draw these three lines, baby. I'm not worried about the trapezium. You can fix that later, okay? Okay. One of them that you you hear a lot of times is a rectangle, right? Do I write that? So write down rectangle. Okay. okay. Now what I want to show you is, look at this is a usual rectangle that you're used to, right? Is yeah. it a parallelogram? Yes. Yes, because these two are and these two are, okay? But what makes it a rectangle? I don't know if you've ever learned this, but in math, when we talk about rectangles, what makes it a rectangle is that it has four perfect square corners. Mm-hmm. You see that? Okay, so what I want you to write down, let me find the exact definition of it, a parallel parallelogram with four congruent angles, okay? Four congruent angles which means the same length and the same um, amount of angle, okay? Each angle is a right angle, a perfect angle. Remember me telling you that? So, a rectangle, I'm going to go in and put a, a rectangle around that, okay? And I want you to actually write down the definition of a rectangle. So, I want you to put a little, little thing like that, and I want you to say it has four perfect square corners or angles, however you want to say it. 
four perfect square corners. Okay. The next one we're going to learn about is a weird name that you've probably never heard in your entire life. But it's kind of fun to say. Rhombus. Okay? And here's how it is spelled. R-H-O-M-B-U-S. Rhombus. Okay. Okay? Now, let me tell you what a rhombus is. Okay? I'm going to give you the exact definition. It's a parallelogram, because we're still in the parallelogram category. It's a parallelogram with four equal sides, equal lengths. Okay? So what I want you to see, this is a rhombus. Because all four of my sides are equal. You see how this side is the same length as this side, is the same length as this side, is the same length as this side. Okay? Another rhombus, rhombus. Even though it's also a square. And it's even actually a rectangle too, because it has four perfect square corners. Okay? So a rhombus just means that all the sides are equal length. Mm -hmm. See that? A rectangle, all the sides don't have it to be equal length. Just the corners have to be perfect. Yeah. You see? Uh -huh. Okay. Now, so a rhombus is four sides of equal length. Now, a square, let me show you. Write down square up here on your last one. That's the last thing we're going to talk about in this lesson. Square. You know what a square is? Yes. A square has perfect, um, I'm sorry, all four equal sides and all four equal corners. corners. Okay? So it actually, you could take either one of those and draw those over there too. Because they all yeah. have perfect corners and perfect sides. Okay? Mm -hmm. So a square, you might want to write down what that is. All four perfect corners and sides. In this rhombus, you might want to write down perfect, four perfect sides. So all the same length. Let's put length in there. Okay? Just to kind of give you a... Sides would be perfect length. This rhombus is the yeah, perfect side length. Okay. They all four have the same side length. This one has four perfect corners and sides. Got it? Yep. So, a square is these two combined. Yeah. yeah. And this one's almost, this one combined, although not always. Yeah. Because a rectangle can be longer on sides. This one has to be the same. Mm -hmm. See? Yeah. All right. That is lesson 45.